Hey guys, it's Viviana, and today's video is going to be about a what's in my backpack haul. And I know that um, a lot of people have started doing back to school hauls already, and I was watching some of them, and I was like, well, I guess I better do mine. So maybe for some of you, it's kind of late. For me, it's actually kind of early because it's still July, and we don't start school till August 29th. So comment below when you guys go back to school. Don't forget to hit the information button up here if you want to see some of my other videos um i post every thursday for those of you who are new for those of you also who are new welcome and hello and um don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more of my videos and give this video a thumbs up if you love back to school hauls also comment below what grade you are in and what your favorite subject in school is mine is math and i will be in 10th grade so, without further ado, let's get started. This is my book bag. Um, it is a Maiden Girl book bag, and it is, like, a jean blue color. It's not really, like, navy blue. It's jean blue. And, um, faux tan, um, faux, like, brown leather. This is what the back looks like. It also has lace up here on the handles and where the zipper is to cover the zipper. Sorry if you hear noise in the background. That is my brother playing downstairs. So we will start in this front pocket. There is some stuff in here that I am reusing. And then I also bought new stuff. Um, those of you who have already seen my channel know that I'm going back to school this year. For the first time after being cyber schooled for a couple years. So I wasn't really sure what to get. But I kind of got basic stuff and stuff that I heard from YouTube videos that was good things to have. So, if any of you know anything else that I might need, comment it below. <laughs> because I could use the help. Um, the first thing I got is this pack of colorful pens. Because I think that in order to take notes, I'm going to need some colorful pens to make things much happier and brighter. And I love colorful things. So, I got a pack of colorful pens. These are by Bic. Bic Velocity Bold Ball Pens stylo bill and it says smoothest pen in the universe i know different people have different preferences but um usually bic i get a lot of their stuff before when i was in school so i thought i'd try their pens these are 1.6 bold so that's what they look like and it comes with a blue purple pink green dark green red blue and black the next thing that I got were these Paper Mate Erasable Pens, and I had seen these, I think it was on Brooklyn and Bailey's channel from their back to school haul last year, and they had erasable red pens, and so I saw these black ones, and I was like, oh, that'd be cool for when I'm taking notes, and if I mess up, and, you know, or you're writing papers or something, and I could erase it, so I bought a pack of these, and these, I think, were like $2 at Staples, so... It was a pretty good deal. And these were $6, I think. Yeah. Also, I got these black pens. <laughs> because I think I'm probably going to be using black a lot. So I want to make sure I have enough. And these are also by Bic. And I just realized they are the exact same pens as these. We bought them at two separate times. So I wasn't sure which ones I had gotten. But I'm pretty sure they're the same ones. So, I'll just have extra black ones. So, that's good. And they are the same 1.6 bold. And also in here, I just have some pencils and Sharpies and two highlighters. Here is a pink highlighter. Here's two Sharpies, a yellow highlighter, an orange Sharpie, and just some pencils that I'll reuse uh, first before opening the new ones. And then in here I also have a pack of gum because you can never go wrong with gum just like because the school day is so long and it just, I hear it really comes in handy and from using it before in school. Before in school I would use mints because we weren't allowed to have gum but schools are becoming more, I don't want to say liberal but they're not as picky. So this is watermelon flavored sour patches and I've tried it before and it's really good which is why I only have one pack because the pack came with three and I ate two of them already. Gumdrop. 
Hey, that is funny. Mm. Okay, so in these pockets, I have nothing, but I also did buy a tumbler cup, and um, maybe I will insert a picture of it so that you guys can see it, but I also did buy one of those. Inside is just polka dotted like this, and I have some of the bigger stuff in here, so we're just going to fold this over like that. First thing I have is a 5-star hybrid note binder, or a aka five star flex and I just filled each section with pieces of paper and then I also have some stuff in the front to hand in when I go to the high school to hand in my enrollment paper so I have that in there if I did do record a full detailed review on this if you guys want to know more about it put a comment below or give this video a thumbs up and I will make sure to upload that for you guys the next thing I got is a seven pocket file folder and these you can find anywhere um, this year I kind of I was gonna try to have a theme but then I kind of just didn't I don't know but I do like this color blue I did see ones that were like peach and stuff but at the time at the store I was at this was the color that they had so yeah same with the other thing. I'm not really a purple person. I would have chose like pink, blue, but they didn't have it. They had purple or black. And I needed color, so I chose purple. <laughs> the next thing that is in here is this. My friend had given this to me. It is a antibacterial hand lotion. So there's three of them, and they're in the flavors Japanese cherry blossom, cranberry cherry and vanilla brown sugar and these I think you can get at like the Dollar Tree or like Dollar General or something so if you guys need moisturizing but also cleansing lotions I also do plan on making a trip to Bath and Body Works before to get some hand sanitizers and stuff and you know new perfumes because who doesn't like going perfume shopping before school um the next thing I got is just a 20 pack of pencils and they are also by Papermate. Usually all the stuff that I would get before is like Papermate, Bic, Papermate, Bic. It's just, they're cheap and they work well. So yeah. So these are just different colors and they're just regular lead pencils. But like, I think I'm going to save these. I was going to get the expensive Papermate pencils, but they were expensive paper made pencils and I had just haven't got them yet so I think I'm gonna wind up like using these and then like somebody asked me for a pencil give them the ones that I'm using <laughs> and I still need to buy a pencil case or make one like I don't know I can't find one I like I mean I can but like I don't know I just haven't found one that I really like the next thing I got is some flashcards And they are colorful. Yes, they are colorful. All this stuff came from a mixture of places, so I am honestly just going to tell you, go somewhere. That if you're on a budget, go somewhere cheap, like Walmart, Big Lots. Sometimes even the dollar store has stuff. Like, I think these I got at the dollar store. Or, I mean, if you want, like, really pretty stuff. I even went to Kmart, too. Um, Target's kind of far from my house, so if Target's far from your house, that's why I kind of went a couple different places, because not one place had everything, but I know Target has, like, everything. So, if you live near Target, go to a Target. If you don't, do what I did. Yeah, kind of go to multiple places and just shop around. Like, whenever we would go places, I'd be like, oh, I think I could use that. Oh, I think I could use that. So, that's what happened. But, these are the colors. They are ruled index cards and they're just in the color of mustard yellow like a teal green sorry guys my camera got off and so like i was saying these are just this is a more bluer color so yeah go get some of those those are i from what i hear and previous like okay you have to understand when i left school it was my first year of middle school so using stuff like this was like i was starting to but not really a lot but I have used them before to study for different stuff. 
and they do come in handy so I think colorful ones will definitely help then I have colorful pens too <laughs> so exciting then I also got two a 200 pack of rolled index cards and these are just your plain white ones and it was 200 for a dollar so can't pass that the next thing I got was just the next thing I got was just this like it was just this the next thing I got was these colorful post-it notes. And um, there's pink, blue, green, and yellow. And these were also a dollar. It's that pocket. Okay, now to go into this zipper pocket. If you wanted to see the brand of my book bag, that is the brand. Main and Girl, like I said. And in here, I just have some stuff like, you know, that I might need in school. I'm probably going to wind up putting it in my locker. But this is a little... Nail kit that has a mirror. Can you like see yourself? Can you see? I don't know. <laughs> but there's my phone. Hey. hey. Um, yes, I do record on my phone. I have a Galaxy S6 Active. Um, I plan on getting a camera soon, but honestly, this works pretty well. So uh, that is a nail kit. And then I this book bag came with this little pouch that now everything's stuck at the top. That says Maiden Girl on it and just has a little zipper and it was on the outside of the book bag which is why it has this but I chose to put it inside the little pocket and in here I just have one hair tie, two extra bobby pins because you never know uh, if you're going to need bobby pins and I have the blue and pink baby lips that is just clear and I like this because it's very moisturizing and has some screen sunscreen protection from the sun and that is really helpful that i believe is it here again an overview of my book bag i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment below some of the things that i asked before um i'm not sure what video i'm going to be doing next i think it will be an Oreo challenge, but I'm not sure, so make sure to check that video out, and I will see you guys later. Bye! And I know that, like, for the past couple videos, I've been saying I'm going to do an Oreo challenge, but honestly, like, I bought the Oreos, or my mom bought the Oreos, and they're sitting in our cabinet, and I'm, like, not looking at them, so I don't know what flavors they are. And then, I was going to do it this week, and then my friend was like, I'm going to Florida. And I'm like, okay. Now I don't know who to do it with. So, I have to find someone else to do the Oreo challenge, which, which is why it has not been up. And I'm really sorry, because I wanted to film it really bad. But um, I will definitely do it soon. I promise. But in the meantime, I have other videos plans that you would love just as much. So bye. <laughs> Again.